Welcome. So today we are going to be doing a lunar heart opening flow and you just come to a seated position in your two blocks. My name is Nicole and all this means is we're going to be taking it real easy and staying close to the earth and just slowly opening our heart in a calm way to prepare us for evening. So from here, why don't we go ahead and bring our hands to our heart center and let's just take uh, some a few rounds of breath, breathing, breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. And you're just going to want to try to maintain this breath throughout your practice. If you'd like, go ahead and bow your head towards your heart and set an intention for the class. Maybe just any word would be fine. Anything that resonates with you. And then go ahead and bring your hands back down to your knees and we're going to do a few rounds of cat and cow from a seated position. So go ahead and arch back into cat. And inhale, bring your heart forward into a, a cow-like. Exhale. Inhale, heart forward and through. Last round. Wonderful. Now from here, let's go ahead and take circles one way, three times, and then go ahead and go the other way. Nice. If your block's in the way, just move it and go ahead and reach your left arm all the way out and then reach your right arm up and over for a nice side stretch. Breathing in and out. One more breath in. Exhaling. And then inhale back up and reach your right arm all the way out and then the left arm will come up and over. Breathing in. And then inhale back up. Okay, from here we're going to want to come on to all fours. Alright, and since to the lunar flow, we're not going to be doing any downward dog, but we are going to be doing puppy pose. So go ahead and reach your arms out in front of you and just lower your chest and forehead towards, towards the earth. If it feels comfortable, you can lay your chin down. The forehead is nice too. And then you're going to come back onto all fours and we're going to draw our left leg through. And here's where we're going to use our blocks. So have your blocks under your shoulders. And we're going to come into this nice Anjaneyasana here. And I'm just going to keep my hands on the blocks. And you can have toes curled under, flat, either way. But from here, you know, you can have different settings, so you want higher. Really press into your block and lift your chest. Wonderful. Now you may need to take your block a little further to the side. And we're going to reach our right arm up and over for a side stretch. Breathing in. Out. 
Go ahead and come back to center. And we're gonna switch, so right arm down, left arm up and over. Keeping our hips square. And then come back. Keeping your hands on the blocks. So we're gonna press into half splits here. So keep your spine long, chin lifted. Have this nice support of our block so we can really get some length. And then if you feel like it, you can drop your head. Okay, come back into all fours. And into puppy. All fours. And here we're going to draw our right foot forward and come into Anjane Asana on the second side. Using our blocks to really lift our chest up and get length in the spine. And it can look like this this however and then go ahead and bring your left arm up and over pressing your right hand into the block and get this side stretch inhale back up left arm pressing reach the right arm up and over Breathing in, come up, and go ahead and come into half splits on that right side. Your back leg is going to be 90, knee under your hip. You can have a nice micro bend. Come forward on all fours and back down into into puppy breathing in and out two more rounds Okay, come back on the all fours, and we're going to do our round two of our Anjane Asana. So go ahead and step your left foot forward again, and come on up, go ahead and reach up, maybe feel a slight bend backwards to the back of the heart. Breathing in, and then exhale, go ahead and come down, and you might want to move your left foot out a little bit, give you more space here in your hips, and here, you can stay here, getting this nice thigh stretch, hip opener, or if you'd like, you can go ahead and come down a little bit more, and try to keep that knee hugging in and breathe okay, go ahead and come out a little bit and and take your left arm and reach back for your right foot and get the thigh stretch mm. <laughs> And you have the same option here. You can stay higher or lower. Mine are, mine are sensitive, so I prefer to stay a little higher today. And release. And have your blocks handy to press back into half split. Mm 
Breathing in through the back of the heart and on the exhale, just coming a little bit forward more. Great, go ahead and step that left leg back. We're back on all fours and we're going to step the right foot through now. So we have our right foot through, second side. You can have your toes pulled under or flat. You can have the blocks under your shoulders. You can have them at higher settings. Or if you'd like, you can reach your arms straight up. Legs squeezing together. Gluteus engaged. And maybe arching back into the heart. Breathing in. And exhale. Bring your hands between either side of your foot. Maybe bring this right leg out more. Make a little space. And then, and then you can stay right here. This nice inner thigh stretch going on. Or if you want more, you can go ahead and lower down a little bit more onto your forearms. And you want your right leg hugging in. You want your hips active, square. Breathing in and out. Okay, we'll come and come up slightly. We're gonna take our right hand behind us and try to grab for that left foot and breathe. You can always have the option to come down lower if you'd like. Go ahead and release that and the blocks and press in half split foot very active, micro bend in the knee. I'm using my hands to press down and pull my heart forward, giving me a really long spine before I decide to drop my head at all. Draw that way back and then reach out, puppy pose. Three rounds of breath. Okay, go ahead and come back on to all fours. And this is our, our last round of the low lunge on Janae Asana. So go ahead and step your left foot through and go ahead and come into your expression here. And this is our last time. You can do any of the ones we've done previously. So here, here, or you can clasp your hands behind your back, lift your heart up, and really arch your heart up and back, breathing. all the way back up, find your block, and come in to half splits. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and come into your 
your experiment coming into full Pramanasana. Or half is just fine too. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and meet me back in puppy pose. on your inhale come back onto all fours and we're going to draw our right leg through for a last low lunge on our right side inhale the arms up can be here here or if you'd like to try clasping the arms behind the back, lifting the chest, and arching back. And we're going to be here for a few breaths. Inhale your arms all the way back up. And we're going to come into our half split if you'd like. Or if you want to try the full expression of Pamanasana. It's nice because we have these blocks handy. Sure is helpful. pose. Knees wide, hips falling towards the heels, arms pressing hips towards the heels. Brilliant. Let's come up to onto all fours and kind of rock back through. We're going to meet on our backs. Let's go ahead and come on your back. And we're going to do a figure four. We're going to take our left leg and draw our left foot over our right thigh. And draw our left arm through and reach around with the right hand as well. So you're like kind of making a figure four or thread the needle. If you're feeling a hip opener in your hip right here, you're doing it right. So keep your foot active and it'll help protect the knee. Let's unwind and go for the other side. So right foot over left knee. We're going to bring our right arm through and our left arm around and flex our feet. And if it feels good, feel free to roll around on your low back. Breathe. Let's do a, a happy baby. Just grab the outside of your feet and draw your knees down along the outside of your body. 
You feel free to roll around here too. Whatever feels good. Just breathe. Okay, now we're gonna bring our feet down and we're gonna cross our left leg over our right leg and we're gonna shift our, our booty to the left a little bit Drop the right knee, left knee, and reach out with the left arm for a nice supine twist. Three breaths. back to center and from here just hug everything into a little ball as tight as you can take a deep breath in when you can't hold it anymore release everything into shavasana Finding position that feels comfortable. Knees knocked in, laying flat, or sitting. Just relax your whole body, and I'll let you know when you're finished. Okay, to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Small movements. Roll to one side or the other. And use your hands to press yourself back into a seated position if you're not already there. Namaste. 